Tesla have just revealed a new video explaining the reasons the new Model 3 is a big step up over the previous version, saying exactly what those reasons are. And they also revealed something that surprised me. They said the new Model 3 was almost entirely designed and engineered in China, not in the United States. This is a very radical departure for Tesla. They have never done this before. They've never actually come out and publicly said, hey, this car was basically made in China, designed, engineered uh, in China. This is the same car we're going to be selling in Europe, in Australia, in, in America. And that was where we did all the engineering work for it. So what in engineering work did they focus on? And why are they saying it's a lot better than the previous version? Well, here is what it is, a quick summary. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I'm coming to you from Newcastle in Australia. Now, I've just watched the video here, which is from Tesla's official social media in China. The first thing that struck me was when the Model 3 was being tested, doing the moose test in the wet. It was really, really wet doing the moose test. I was very surprised at how fast it went through. It went through the cones. Uh, it really, really surprised me. I've always been into performance cars, and I do have a kind of an idea of how quickly cars can generally go without losing traction. And it really surprised me at how well the Model 3 handled. And I think you'll find that that's pretty normal because the previous version of the Model 3, the non Highland version, um, Top Gear said it was going to be crap. They said it was going to suck. I mean, they said EVs can't handle, they're not performance cars. Uh, Top Gear took the Model 3 performance. They raced it against a BMW M2. It was the new version of the BMW M2. Everyone said the M2 would crucify the Model 3, and the Model 3 basically annihilated it. The Top Gear track, it's only about one, it's less than a minute long, so it's a very short track. And the Tesla Model 3 performance beat the M2, the BMW M2, by two seconds. That's a very big difference. I mean, that is the difference between... Uh, there's less difference in Formula 1 between first and last. Less difference. So it gives you a good idea here just how good the previous version was. But the new version, it should be significantly better than that again. Especially considering the new Model 3 performance has a new motor, so it will have more power than the previous version. But what about the long range and the standard range versions? What are the difference? Well, Tesla says they're the most fun and engaging cars they've made so far. But why is that? Well, apparently the key reasons are stability of the vehicle, better handling, so the suspension is much better, wet weather handling, road noise and wind noise. So obviously making the car more silent inside. Tesla said, well, hey, let's improve the stereo system. They've done that significant improvements to the stereo make it quieter inside, you hear the stereo more, and so then you can enjoy that improved sound even more. I think that's a big difference. The goal of the driving dynamics testing was to analyze the overall vehicle composure and stability in order to make a great car. Tesla says they want to improve customer satisfaction, make big improvements on top of the incremental improvements that Tesla customers have gotten used to. But the biggest change that I can see here from not just from what Tesla's marketing spiel is, but from what the car reviewers testers have actually said is this model 3's ride was too stiff now, a lot of people said that do you agree with that let me know what you think if you've been an owner is it too stiff or was it too stiff tesla have used a brand new suspension system it's a new technology that's meant to handle bumps much much better it's called basically selective damping technology and tesla says it's, it's significantly improved in terms of its responsiveness to handling bumps but also it's actual handling is better at the same time. But even more important than that, some people have said the Model 3 was too noisy inside from wind noise. So Tesla improved the road and wind noise involved in the utilization. Basically what they did is they utilized dual pane glass. So they have acoustic glass in the previous Model 3 for the front doors, the door, the windows in the front doors and the front windscreen. They didn't have it in the back. They changed that. The new version has acoustic glass for the rear windows and for the rear window panel as well. And also they've all apparently added some sound deadening to the car. This improves the cabin noise levels, not by heaps, but by enough to notice and provides a sense of isolation from other vehicles, from other noises, and from more importantly than anything else, road noise. I think the biggest noise you get inside your car is that coarse sounding road noise. So when you drive on a really nice road, it's much smoother, less, a lot less noise. 
But if you're driving a coarse road, it's really loud inside the cabin. So it helps to eliminate some of that loudness. On the suspension front, Tesla has added new shock absorbing technology, which Tesla calls frequency selective damping. This is to improve the ride quality and it maintains the handling, well, improves the handling of the Model 3. You can clearly see the handling is better and reviewers have said the same thing. Moravi, who worked on this vehicle, he's Tesla's head engineer, said the new shock absorbers on this model, not only is it more performance, but it's also fun to drive and it rides better. It's the kind of car I always wanted. Now, he's not even referencing the Model 3 performance. I'm kind of excited to see how good that's going to actually be. The original Model 3 was unveiled a long time ago, back in 2017. So it did take Tesla a long time to come through with this update. Moravi was part of the engineering team that worked on the original vehicle, the Model 3. It was designed, engineered, manufactured, everything else happened in North America. But big, big change here because the engineering team that worked on the new Model 3 was actually located in China. Now, of course, some of the American experts also worked on the Model 3s. It was a joint thing. It wasn't just the Chinese engineers that worked on it. It was Americans as well that helped. But it is sort of interesting to see that shift away. And I know that there's sort of perceived to be, it's more Elon Musk's, like he, it's his style, right, to have the Chinese work on stuff. And the reason being that they apparently work really, really hard. And also they're very, very dedicated to the details. And Tesla wanted to focus on the details here. You know, panel gaps have to be precise. Tesla vehicles built in China are considered to be a better quality than those built in both Germany and America. So that's worth considering there. Model 3 orders, can you buy it now? Actually, you can. Almost everywhere in the world, except for the United States. So I'm gonna guess probably within six weeks, you'll be able to buy them in the US based on what I'm seeing but I'm not really sure if that's true. Guys, based on what you've seen, these upgrades, better sound system, much better ride quality, um, the ability to hear less noise, massive improvement in noise levels. Is this enough for you to consider getting the new version? We know there's a tiny bit more range, what five, five to 8% more range, depending on which um, way you look at the car. But is this enough for you to say, you know what, I'm gonna sell my old version or I'm gonna sell my car and buy a new Tesla Model 3 Highland? Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on that. Thank you for watching.